Good morning. Today we're taking volumes of similar shapes. Objective, you should be able to find scale factors of two similar shapes. Find using scale factor of volume of similar shape. Now you can see the shape. This is a cube or a cube, excuse me, and a bigger cube, cube A, cube B. Now scale factor, this is the ratio of their corresponding sides. Now since this is a cube, it simply means all the sides are equal. So QA with 6 cm and QB with 8 cm. Scale factor simply means smaller shape over what? Bigger shape. 6 over 8 gives us 3 over 4. That is all. Got that. Let's look at another shape here. This is a cube board. And here we have 7 cm as height, 5 cm as uh, length, and 2 cm as width. On cuboid B, we have 21 as height, 15 as length, and 6 as width. All units in length and uh, dimensions in what? Centimeters. Scale factor. Smaller height over bigger height. Smaller height, bigger height. Smaller length, bigger over bigger length. Smaller width over bigger width. So we have 7 centimeters over 21, 5 over 15. 2 over 6. All in centimeters, 7 centimeters times 21 centimeters will give you 1 over 3. 5 centimeters over 15 centimeters will give you 1 over 3. 2 over 2 centimeters over 6 centimeters will still give you 2, 1 over 3. We have reduced all to the lowest end, which ends up giving us the same thing as the scale factor 1 over 3. Now, volume ratio. Volume ratio is always the same thing as the ratio of volumes of A to O to B. Now, volume of A to B, which is, we now have, you know that volume of a cube board is length times width times height, 5 centimeters times 2 centimeters times 7, over 15 times 6 times 3. Now, if you reduce this to the lowest term, it will give us, over there, we have 1 times 1 times 1, over 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us 1 over 27. Now, if we find the cube root of this, this is the same thing as 1 cube over 3 cube, which is now 1 over 3 in bracket cube. Now, that tells us that the volume ratio is simply scale factor cube. The cube of a scale factor. So, that is that. Now, let's look at the practical example. We have, this is a cube board. Here we are giving 4, 10, we are having a missing side. We have 10 y and we have 20. We have to find the missing side, the scale factor and the volume and the ratio, volume ratio. Now, you should know that this side is the width, which means this is your width, this is your height, this is your length, this is your length, this is your height. So, scale factor, we have the width over the width here, 4 over 10. Then we have i over the i here, which is y. We have 10 over y. Then we have the length x over 20. Now remember that the smaller over the bigger ratio, a bigger shape. Excuse me. Now if you reduce this to the lowest, then this automatically gives you the scale factor, which is 2 over 5. So we have 2 over 5 is equal to 10 over y. Now solve this. This is 2s when you cross multiply here in GSS3, so I should not stress myself on that. Ends up giving you 25. Then this is also 2 over 5 is equal to x over 20. So the same thing gives you x. Now x is 8, y is 25. Now let's find out if that is true from our scale factor. Now we have 4 over 10 is now 10 over 25 is now 8 over 20. Reduce everything to lowest them. We'll come back and give you 2 over 5, which is our scale factor. Now the volume, we have volume is 4 times 10 times 8 over, which is for the first cuboid uh, A, then we have for cuboid B, we have 10 times 25 times 20. Now all gives us 320 centimeter cube over 5000 centimeter cube. Now if you cancel this, cancel this, and if you reduce this to the lowest end, we'll give you what? 8 over 125. Now, if you see back to your principle that we said ratio, volume ratio is scale factor 
Q. Our scale factor is 2 over 5, which is 2 over 5. Now, cube of it will come back and give us the same 8 over 1, 2, 5. So, with this little explanation, I decided to um, push you a little bit above what I've just explained using a different shape. Now, this is a thin of rice with height 25 centimeter cost. 200 naira and it's labeled as it's labeled as an area of 20 centimeters a similar thing of rice has a height of 40 centimeters find a the scale factor b the volume ratio c what is the cost of the larger thing if the price is proportional to the volume d assuming the label on both things are similar find the area of the label on the larger thing now you obviously know that that thing will be what i will not tell you i know you want me to say find out i hope with this little explanation you should be able to attend this question see you next class i remain one and only mr Kola. and you i love you stay safe